Hello everyone, I bring to you today the message of salvation. Uh, in the beginning, the Bible says God created the heaven and the earth. And in verse 26 of Genesis chapter 1, it is written, God said, let us make man our own image. It's a popular scripture and the Bible says God made Edama Eve, who happened to be our first parents. And thereafter, the Bible says they sinned against God. And the Lord banished them out of the Garden of Eden. Thereafter, they started procreating, having children. And up to everyone that can hear me, we are all the descendants of Abraham. And according to God's judgment, it is written because of the sin Adam sinned, it passed the consequence to all men, every creature, every seed of Adam. Romans 3, 23 says, For all have sinned. Anyone born of a woman, anyone who is a seed of Adam, is a sinner by inheritance. And the Bible now says that no sinner shall seek out. So, and a way of escape was made for every man. And that way of escape happened to be who that presented himself as a sacrificial lamb, the Lord Jesus Christ. He left the throne, he left the Father, he left the heaven. He came here to die in the hand of those he created. He suffered a lot. He was buffeted. They killed him. A lot of stripes. He was whooped. It was a lot of stuff they did for him. Oh, dangerously as cavalry. He went to all this all because of the sin of mankind. And the Lord now said, Except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. And what is being born again is accepting the Lord Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior. This is key, and it is important in the book of Acts chapter 4, verse 12. The word of God says that there is no other name given among me where we might be saved. No other name. I say it again, no other name except the name of our Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And this is because of all he went through at Calvary. So as many as I can hear me now, it is not by accident. We have to give our life to the Lord Jesus Christ. Submit to him today, confess him as your personal Lord and Savior. After you have done this, your soul will be saved. So if you are ready, let us pray briefly. Just say after me, say, after me and say, Jesus Christ, I receive you today as my Lord and my Savior. Have mercy on me, forgive all my sins, and write my name in the book of life, in Jesus' name. If you have done that, you have been saved. You are sure of heaven tomorrow. God bless you. Make a decision and give your life to Jesus today. Tomorrow might be too late. Please say this prayer after me. Lord Jesus, I come to you repenting of my sins, forsaking my past and everything that entangles. I give my life to you today and accept you as my Lord and Savior. Cleanse me, Lord, and give me a brand new life in Jesus' name. If you have prayed this prayer, you are now born again. Find a Bible-believing church around you to fellowship regularly, a place where you can grow and develop your faith in Christ. If you are in the Houston area, the Distinction Church is close to you. Come worship with us. We are located at 5250 Barker Cypress Road, Houston, Texas, 77084. You can also engage with us on any of our social media handles displayed here. We would love to hear from you. If you need prayers or counseling, you can call any of the phone numbers displayed on the screen. We love you. God bless you.